The issue is, is I do not have the correct change gear to do all of the Imperial threads. Uh, my lathe did not come with any change gears other than what was installed there. <coughs> and um, this is a um, 40 tooth change gear that's on there right now. Let's see what I can show there right there. Um, and what I need is a 44. Um, the other issue is uh, with these change gears, they're very, very expensive to buy used, um, usually in the UK. But the main issue is that it is a spline uh, center. And that is a lot more difficult to make than one would think. Um, if it were just a straight hole and a keyway, not a problem. It is, I uh, mounted this up on the milling machine and uh, bored uh, the hole to the minimum diameter of this gear right here for the minimum diameter of the spline. So that would be, let's get a pen here so I can point at this. So that would be the distance between the spline faces. So that's what this guy is bored at. Um, and now what I'm trying to do is um, make those uh, spline uh, slots. There are uh, six of them, so they're spaced by 60 degrees. So the idea is to broach it. Um, I do have a uh, quarter inch um, do more or do not uh, brooch and uh, I guess the idea I thought would be to use this brooch to um, you know essentially brooch those those spline pieces or those spline uh, um, uh, those splines um, so that's what I'm going to do but in order to do that I need something like this I need a um, I, I don't know what these things are called, but uh, they're bushings, I suppose, for these brooches. And this one does not fit. Um, I have a few of these. So it looks like I had to make my own, a new one, that will actually fit this. So I've got this one partly done. <coughs> Bear with me, I'm uh, recovering from a flu here. Uh, so I have this one partly done, so you can see it kind of will look like that, but shorter. And uh, the idea is that I will mill a slot in here, um, you know, hold this up on an indexer, mill a slot so that the brooch could uh, fit in there, set it to the right depth or mill it to the right depth so that when I brooch or when I set this up uh, in the um, arbor press and when I brooch it, I should be able to get at least one slot. The issue then is, or a couple issues, the issue then is it needs to be indexed uh, every 60 degrees and rebroached again. So my thought was is to <coughs> just do a little, did a little drawing, I don't know if it will come up on camera, but to basically slot in the main broach section right here and then at, uh, this would be 120 degrees, um, far enough over, to create another little slot, and this would be just a quarter inch slot, um, that would be the indexing uh, pin. And so I have <coughs> a piece of quarter inch stock here that I plan on uh, basically sticking in there, and, and I'd have to mill it down to the right size as well too, so that's, uh, that's one thing I'll have to work on. But I thought the idea was that I'd use, I'd broach uh, the first slot, and then once the first slot is broached, then drop this uh, pin into the um, uh, into the bushing, and then drop that into the gear where the first broach uh, was made, and then do the second one, and then just keep moving it over until I get all of them done. So that's sort of, I've never done this before, I've never broached anything. Um, I'm just trying to figure out a way to to do this, um, you know, with the tools that I have. So that was uh, so that's one issue. The other issue is is that <coughs> the brooch itself is is rectangular. Um, you know, it's it's essentially a rectangular. Uh, what it creates is a rectangular brooch. And if you look up real close, let's see if I can zoom in. Uh, and if you look, the of course, the broached area right here has got a curve to it, so um, it wouldn't actually fit on the spline of the shaft 
uh, on the lathe because of that slight curvature that's on there, the spline would, would interfere. So I need some way of removing that. So I, you know, one way of doing that, uh, of course, is just to take a file to it, like a round file, <coughs> and uh, just hack away at it. The other is something a little more complicated, uh, but I thought, you know what, it's not, it doesn't seem too, too bad uh, once I wrap my head around it. And I'll bring you over to the mill uh, because I got things set up, and I think that's what I'm going to do first. All right. So on the mill, I have uh, the indexer set up, and um, I have a basically a piece of blank material that I turned down to 24 millimeters, so that will fit inside the uh, gear itself um, when it comes time to doing this this idea that I had in mind. I got a piece of uh, Rex uh, AAA um, uh, tool steel, I guess, uh, high speed steel. And I'm going to use this as a, I'm going to basically make my own brooch. <coughs> and the idea is, is that I will create a slot in here um, that will fit this uh, piece of high speed steel um, at the right depth so that the outside diameter, so I can throw this back in the lathe and get a, uh, a grinder set up, a tool post grinder set up on the lathe and essentially grind the outside face of this to the correct radius of the internal uh, spline. Oh, that fits beautifully. Nice and snug. Fantastic. Yeah, looks like I just have to tap it down and it'll be in there. Okay, well that didn't break, that's good. All right, so that's what we got there. And the blank, the high-speed steel blank. Um, yeah, so there's the cutting edge right here that I got marked. Just pops in there like so. See that? Yeah, fits in real nice and snug.
Okay, let's see what that looks like. <coughs> Doesn't look too bad. It feels a bit warm, but I think this is it. Alright, see if I can get this uh, focused in here. I can't tell what you can see there, but uh, to me this is looking pretty good. I got a nice sharp edge right here. It um, should have the radius. And um, yeah, so time to heat this up because I see it glued it in there. Um, heat this up, pop it off. And then it needs to go to the mill uh, to mill out the, uh, the side so I can get a quarter inch um, brooch out of that. Alright, so I have the uh, blank, uh, the cutter I guess, for cutting the inside radius of the spline uh, done there. You saw I uh, finished it off on the mill. I created a, um, let me just zoom you in here. I created a, essentially like a T um, so that it could fit into, I suppose, it will fit in here uh, once I have this milled out. Sort of, if you could imagine this being inside there, right? And after it's been broached with the quarter inch brooch um, for the majority of the material inside the uh, spline, and when I say majority material, I'm, we're talking about, gee, less than an eighth. Then I'd come around with this guy right here and um, I, I made it so that there's a bit of a taper on um, on this cutter. It's about 20 thou wider here than it is over here in order to give it that rake and that clearance. Um, but I just want to show you how well this fits. So this is a uh, an original gear and this is the cutter. And I'm just going to pop it in here. I don't know if this comes up on the camera, but the fit is, is just perfect. It's just beautiful. So that in theory should, uh, should work once uh, I need to clean that up. Um, but anyway, that's, uh, that's how far I've gotten so far.